Okay, this is cool. I will be the one to defeat the giant dragon. Let's go. Hey, Lebelebians! It is Sister Carter. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today with Dragon Blade. I'm going to be taking you on an adventure through a game that's much like uh, Zelda's Breath of the Wild and a game called Valiant. So, uh, or Valiant, I, I'm not, anyways. So, make sure you smash, smash, smash the love like button and do the same thing as the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. We're going to be going through the start of the game. I'm going to be giving you all some tips and tricks and how to get a really good start, get a ton of cash. Uh, it's going to be a lot of just wandering around, but that's kind of the fun part. So let's go ahead and get on into the game. Uh, first things off, we get to create our character. Let me close that. Uh, VIP servers for this are free, so we like that. I can have really long ears or no ears. We like no ears. We'll be a lady. I need eyes. We can have so many. Oh, oh my. Oh boy. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It's my soul. Okay. And we find one I actually like. Oh, good God. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make it red since that's one of my primary colors. Do they have like gold or something? Oh, they do. They have like the goldish green. We'll go with that. Uh, skin tone. Um, I'm pasty white, so let's go with that. Uh, nose. It's a triangle. Okay. No nose. We are now Voldemort. It, that is... <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we will go with the short stub. We will go with the short step. Okay, and we need a mouth, a moustache. No, we're not. We don't need a moustache. Vampire fangs. Eh. Uh, we will do this face. Okay, hair color. Uh, I need a red. I think that's as close to a red as we're gonna get. We need a hairstyle that matches my avatar. I also know that there's helmets in this game, so I kind of don't want too long a hair. All right, we'll take that. Okay, let's go ahead and get on in. Stranger in a new land, find a friend and figure out where you are. So the first things first is we've got to go find Kitsune. Uh, my biggest tip, guys, is you need to be sprinting everywhere you go. Also, you need to be picking up everything you're picking up. I do have one of the game passes already that does give me double items. So this is going to help out. But basically, you need to be collecting as much as you can early on. Because as we get later and later in the game... Getting some of these items is going to be harder, and we also have limited inventory space. But I'm just going to run around real quick, collect a few things. Everything in this game does serve a purpose, so if you can collect it, it is used for something. Also, if you see ferns, ferns is also your best friend. We need that. Okay, so I'm going to get on into the tutorial. This is the starting area, and uh, we got skill leveled up. So if you are playing this game for the first time, in order to basically get better, much like Breath of the Wild, to get more hearts... You need your skill to be leveled up very, very high. So I'm going to be flying through this. But there are these obelisks all over the map. And you, we can see the map. So there's actually a ton of stuff all over this. It's kind of nuts. So uh, we're going to go start the quest. I'm going to go start the tutorial. I'm leveling up so quickly because I have some of the game passes. So this just kind of helped me progress through the game early on. Also in spawn, we have a lovely shopkeeper. So these guys are going to be... Pretty predominant. You're going to have one on your home base because that's kind of one of the cool things. You have like a home base, there's weapons, there's mobs, all kinds of stuff. Basically, he's talking about the fact that there's lots of them all over the world and uh, there's stuff you can buy. All right, we're going to get going and we're going to go talk to the fox. I haven't seen your kind in a long time before. Uh, no offense, but my name is Kitsune, your guide to this world. Uh, what a cute dog. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say what a cute dog. Cool, yes. Hmm. Anyways, I'll see you around, uh, Tarragona. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Tarragona. I haven't seen a two-leg in a while. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, there's a lot of story and dialogue. I hope it's not spiders. I don't like spiders. Uh, if you stay close to the cherry tree with your spirit, the cherry tree, the fairy tree. Oh my lord, I'm tired. Okay, find a few brush sticks and shape them into a club. So, I'm gonna get on with the tutorial. When there is stuff that is not so clear, because it needs a little work, I will bring y'all back. And we will kind of go over things. So, uh, basically, I'm going to go get some sticks. Oh, the other cool thing about is while you are doing the quest, this guy will move with you. Uh, the other thing is when you break the trees, so the trees fall down and make this lovely log, you do actually have to hit the log again to break it in order to get logs. So, just kind of FYIZ, uh, while you're running around, you, you do actually have to do that. 
And like I said, collect everything that's on the ground. Uh, it will become important at some point. And early on, your inventory is not full of gear yet. So, yeah. Also, if you cannot find pebbles on the ground, go over to these rocks. They will have flint. We also are going to be hitting these rocks later on for stone. So, when you get your banner of light for the very, very first time, so you've already constructed it, you've got B3 ready, and you can place it. Uh, my recommendation is venture out first and kind of go and place it one far away from spawn and two if we look on this map there's teleporters so i'm going to go to this unknown location to my north and my east and i'm going to go drop it over there i'm going to let y'all know this right here would not be a good spot to create camp it is very hilly and you will have to unfortunately move stuff if you do decide to put your banner down here. So what you're going to be looking for is some of the plains area. But you're going to want to make sure you are near one of these teleporters. So I'm going to go kind of run around a little bit. Find us a nice flat zone. I don't want to be directly in front of spawn. But we are going to go on down. The other reason I would recommend guys just getting as much as you can is the part on how we're going to get a lot of money. I realize one of my game passes gives me a ton of cash, but uh, I'm going to show you all how to make some good easy cash and kind of exclude the stuff that I've gotten just so that y'all can have a good start. Also, you are going to see wild horses all over the game, even though you have the option to get one for your own here in a little bit. Uh, I'm still going to go over and grab him. He looks like spirit from the movie. He's only a one star, no. So the, all the mounts are ranked between one and five stars. Uh, basically the better ones are gonna be the ones that are ranked higher. So he's not great, but we will use him because one, he's gonna help us kind of move along a little faster. Uh, the other thing on the ground guys is those chests. Those chests are going to be used kind of later on for combat there to get other resources. So I'm not worried about them right now because I'm looking for a spot to settle down. Okay. I'm kind of digging on in here, and I kind of want to get off the horse. So, putting this down. Cool, I settled down. Awesome. Hit shift to cancel. Cool, we're going to manage this. So, one thing I would always make sure you do is save your data. So, saving your data is going to save your settlement. You have the option to move your settlement for 50 gold, but try not to do that too much, because it's going to, yeah. Uh, banner color, you will, you will be able to unlock more of these later on. So, don't fuss about it right now. And I need Mr. Wolf. We gotta finish this. The other thing, when you go to the merchant for the first time to go buy your pickaxe and buy your crafting table, go ahead and sell any one of these items. Just realize if it's more pros if it's like more processed, uh, it will have a tendency to have higher cost. So just have YZ. Okay, so I just completed the tutorial. This is the setup I got so far. Uh, we have a horsey right there. We're not going to pay attention to him. So what we're going to go over here is I just got my quest board. Quest board's where we're going to make a ton of our money. So builder's path, that one unless you already have a lot of coins is going to be rough to get. Uh, resource collection because I have been collecting everything like crazy. Uh, we can already claim the reward. Uh, we do need a wild rose and truffle. That one should kind of be easier to find. Uh, the feeding slimes we're not going to do just yet. Uh, egg market, uh, we're actually going to be doing that here in a second. And then we already have 5% of our map complete, so we can already get that done. Uh, the next two, oh, we already have a landmark too, so let's go ahead and get that done. So that is roughly, oh, and we have a level one settlement, so we already got that done. Cool. Self-improvement, I'm also already level one, so that's good. Self-improvement requires character level three. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a rickety horse stall, because we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a horse and get that going and then I will pick up the rest of these before we go because we're also going to be uh, working on getting some other stuff so first things first get a horse going because the horse that you can hatch is going to be four star to start off so we want a rickety horse hutch so this is going to be six gold pieces so let's go ahead and buy that I'm also going to show you all how to use mining mining can be a little bit tricky in this game so just, just gonna kind of help y'all there. Uh, rickety horse hutch. All right, we're gonna rotate that so that looks a little better. Let's put it right there. Cool. We can move this at a later time. I'm not too worried about it right now. Okay. So we managed to get that. Awesome. That's all squared away. All right. So we got the rickety horse hutch. I can't talk. Read. 
All right, let's go ahead and claim that. Uh, register your horse at a stable. And as you'll notice, a lot of the starting stuff is super, super cheap. So we got a, got also now build a egg, which is just one wooden plank. Apparently I don't have wooden planks, so that is a crafting, I believe. Let me see. Yep, it is a crafting recipe. We can go ahead and grab that. I'm going to hit B. Nope. Three. So we're going to go ahead and put the egg cart. I want to kind of put that near the other merchant, just so ease of access. There you go. Now, let's go ahead and do mining real quick. So we have this stone over here. Let me get all this flax out of here because this is in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to three. Hit three again. Go to terraforming. Go to mining. And we are just going to keep hitting this rock. And it is either going to disappear. Yep, we got two stone. There you go, guys. That is how you do that. Also, uh, let me find a geode real quick. There's some geodes on the ground. And sometimes these confuse people getting to them. So I'm going to show you all that. Oh, there's one right here. So we're going to see these things sticking up above the ground. Well, this is not the only thing, so you can try to hit it. Uh, we actually are able to collect from this because it will tell you, oh, this doesn't, it's not able to strike the ground, but we are able to. So we got some copper node, but if we were to get a shovel, if you're able to get a shovel, we can actually dig up around this spot and find more geodes. So kind of keep that in mind when you're playing, that if you have a shovel and you see the stuff sticking out above the ground like that, we can get a geode. So next thing I'm going to do is, since we've got two more things completed, I'm going to go turn that in. That's going to give us even more cash. Um, I'm going to see how much above 25,000 we get, because I started with 25,000. Uh, also eat some food. Okay. We got resource collection knocked out. I got egg market knocked out. Uh, we're almost done with resource collection. And then we're going to buy a starter egg real quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Eggs. Cool. Let me take a look. It's 150. I kind of have enough. So we're going to go ahead and get it. Cool. All right. So we got an eggo. We're going to come over here to manage stable. Hatch egg. We're going to place our egg in there. It's going to take about six minutes. I'll let that go. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can find some plums, some mushrooms and uh, some other stuff so we can get that leveled up because the next thing we're gonna be needing is I need that horse because we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. All right, I also got resource collection done. Let's go back. I am so slow. So if you wanna stand still while you're waiting for your resources to, or your uh, stamina to recharge, uh, make sure you're picking up stuff. Uh, as always, I you can actually sell a lot of this, especially the flax because there is so much of it in the world. Uh, go ahead and sell that. Go ahead and, you know, try and get your money back on that. Because uh, that's also going to be a really good way to make a lot of cash really easy. So, uh, I want to buy some stuff. Do they have a stone shovel? They do. So I want to show you all how the shoveling works real quick. Because I'm also about to terraform the ground. And when we upgrade, sadly, unfortunately, this will break the area around it. And this geode right here. So, and I really don't want to lose the geode. So I need rope and you just need one more rope. Let's get that. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, you just got to hover over this and it'll show you what you need. So I got a shovel, two star. Uh, you can craft in between a one and five star tool every time you craft. So stuff can be better. Uh, the five star stuff is super, super rare. So I'm going to go ahead and use the shovel and we're just going to start digging up the ground. So there's going to be other stuff down here. As you can see, I'm revealing more geodes down there. See if there's... Oh, I am stuck in a weird way. <laughs> All right, let's go back. And I am just hitting three, by the way. Uh, three does work for mining and for other things. Oh, no. Don't get stuck in... The I'm breaking the game. I'm breaking the game. Okay, so there was just two geodes here. So oh, that's fine. Uh, we're, we will flatten that once we are done. Uh, mine. And you can just go ahead and mine this up. Highly recommend doing this. This is going to be well worth it. 
Uh, the screen will tell you if you are not able to mine it, if you need a better pickaxe. So we're going to get some copper ore, which we're definitely going to need later on. Also, the climbing mechanic is very similar to Breath of the Wild, so also keep that in mind. And we do have a horse now, too. I didn't even realize that. Uh, but I'm missing some logs. Hold on one second. All right, so now I have all that. So let's go over to the board. We're going to hit the board again. We're going to go ahead and claim all of our resources. I haven't quite gotten all the mushrooms and stone. We got the egg starter done. We got best friends forever. So the next things we're going to be grabbing is Explorer. Sight. Uh, we can go ahead and finish self-improvement because we already got that. And go ahead and grab self-improvement again. We're going to be on the horse a very, very long time. So we got a four-star gray horse. We're going to name him Plebs. So Plebs, we are going to... That's that's Plebs too. We are just Plebs. Okay. So we have named it Plebs. So what you're going to do now, guys, is we're going to get on Plebs. You're going to look at your mini-map. You are now going to go systematically unlock every single one of these. So we're going to go down to this landmarker down here. So this is a very long, tedious process, and you're like, sister, this is so boring, but this will get you an absolute ton of cash. It's also going to level you up because you're going to be riding, and riding is basically going to get you a ton of resources. When your horse runs out of stamina, all you need to do is simply just back it up a little bit. It'll trot. You can get a nice, pretty picture. You also can go ahead and stop it, and you can maybe pick up some resources and just start going around the map. Uh, I wouldn't immediately just start crafting everything that you can. This is to prevent your inventory from filling up because you will have a smaller inventory than I do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go run around the map. Um, word of advice: if it collides with anything other than shrubbery, um, the horse does bug out. Uh, also, if you will be encountering mobs, so. If you happen to die on your grand adventures, if you press H, it'll magically spawn in everywhere you are, your horse and or mount. Because there's other mounts in this game, like dragons. So I hope we'll have a video on that at another date. But let's continue to go. One last thing to go over, these are your skills. So every time you increase this by 10, you get life essence. Life essence is used to increase your inventory space, your stamina, or your health bar. Um, I would recommend, unless you, you know, pay to win, uh, inventory would be the first thing I'd work on. Um, I know a few other people that are a little further along in this game, and, you know, five, six hit points is pretty decent, but uh, inventory is key. Inventory is very, very key, so kind of keep that in mind. Stamina, if you're smart about it, you don't really need to worry about it. This is like the best swimming animation I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> When encountering the mountain geodes, or the mountain, uh, basically, landmarks, try and find the least steep side to go up. Your horse will manage, but, I mean, it's it's gonna, like, there it just stopped because it could not progress any further. Uh, also, your horse can glitch, so if you need to, like, get off and, like, go move around, you may have to. So, I may not actually be able to climb with him for the entire time, but I definitely need to make sure I find points that I can rest. If I'm going to be scaling this myself. So kind of keep that in mind. That this is a... Uh, getting to a few of these landmarks is a challenge. To say the least. Um, also make sure while you are doing all of this. We're trying to get up to 40% of the map revealed. So if you are nearing getting say your last one. Which our last one's going to be down here. Make sure you have at least 40%. But as you can tell I've already gotten a good chunk of it done. So... And I still have three landmarks left to go. So, it's just gonna... It's easier going down these than it is going up. Alright, so that is the final, final marker on the map. So I have unlocked all of them. There actually is different resources at some of these. So that was the other reason I recommend unlocking them now. So that you have access to them when you are starting the game and when you have issues. So as you can see on the mini-map, I see a flag. That is actually our banner. So I'm actually going to run the horse back to it because that will allow me to unlock more of the map and maybe we can get another part done. 
So once we get back, I will turn in all the quests and we'll see how much coinage we can get. Uh, we should at least be able to get to a settlement rank three. So that'll be good. So let me head on home. Not strike the trees or hit the slimes. All right, so we've made it back home. Easy, easy, easy. So let's go ahead and jump on off. Horse, let me off, please. Thank you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and over here to our roadmap. Let's go ahead and complete some things. So we got Explorer done. We got 20% of the map completed. So we're getting a lot of coins. We're already almost up to 300. We have 30% of the map completed. We're up to almost 500. And uh, there's 700. We now have 50%. So we are now up to 1400. Self-improvement. You may not be able to unlock all that, but we got a little bit more cash. We're up to 1500 Sightseer. So that's going to give us another 40, but these kind of get bigger as we go. That's another 80. Another 160. That's another 320. We're up to 2000 to start. That's 600. That's 2700. And with all seven landmarks, that's another 1200. So all in all, we finished two whole storylines. We got all that done. We also have more than five objects already on base, so we can go ahead and claim that too. So look at that. Look at that. That's 4,000 gold that you can get started with, guys. So in order to upgrade your settlement, we're going to go here. Uh, just keep in mind, we are going to be destroying and extending our footprint. So we're going to spend 100. That land flattened out that we had earlier messed with. So look at all this now. Is there any like things nearby that I kind of want to keep that I don't want to lose? Kind of look around. Also, every time you upgrade your settlement, you are also going to be upgrading your shop. So if I go over to the shop guy right now, hey, he should have some more stuff. So yeah, we have things like sharpening stone. We have needle and thread. We have saddles now. We have keys. These are to interact with those chests. We have a lot of stuff already unlocked and we are at settlement level two. Let's go ahead and upgrade the settlement again for 500 or even bigger. And these horses that were over here are now starting to settle on in. They're, they're both one stars. I have kind of no desire to get them, but at least they're here. Because we have been upgrading, we also are going to get some more cash out of this vendor as well. So another 120. So we actually can keep going just with the cash we earned from what we were doing. I'm going to go ahead and spend that thousand and upgrade us. So look at that. This is huge. We have so much room we can kind of build stuff on, kind of make stuff look pretty. What's the next upgrade? 1500. How much do we have? But we still have it 2700. So it is up to you now if you want to upgrade it. But I mean, look at all this stuff in here that we have access to now. It's kind of bonkers. Uh, there also is decorative items that you can get in here and flag colors we finally unlocked. So we can get that and we can buy emotes, things like that. Let's take a look. And we also now can buy dragons. <laughs> so you pretty much, we've gotten all the way up that so we can keep on going. And uh, by the way, how you get five star mounts is you basically buy one of these eggs and you have a chance to hatch a five star mount. So those are kind of be the mounts you're looking for. They're going to have higher stamina. Things like that. So, but yeah, look at all this. So many arrows, bronze pickaxe. Like, there's so much stuff we don't have, like, the resources for, and I'm gonna have to spend the money to get it. So, what I would recommend at this point, guys, is slowly start unlocking the, not necessarily the items, but you wanna start unlocking the workbenches, okay? So we're going to be unlocking, you know, the cooking fire, the camping stove, the charcoal kiln, the anvils. You're definitely going to want those. Uh, I would get a storage chest or two. Start working on that. Start leveling up your skills. There is other storage chests in here too, but I would just start at the bottom and work my way up. Because uh, you can always take some things down. Now, and you also can get your own stone. You can also make your own teleporting stone. So, guys, this is kind of my beginning guide. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game. I'm definitely going to be playing it more. I need to get a better plebs. You are great. You are great, but we need better. So, hopefully this was helpful for you getting y'all started here in Dragonblade, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!